Don't bring a rain jacket, they say. It'll be fine, they say. What's that message? It's at midnight. So it's gonna be a hot one, fellas. Yeah. Good morning. And this morning, you join Chris, Jimmy and I on the way to our first ever Audax. Now we have, of course, done long distance riding before, but never in an Audax UK event. But first we need to get to the start. And for some reason, we've decided that we're gonna cycle from Stansted to Bulldock in Hertfordshire, which is about 24 miles. So add that onto the top of the Audax route. Hey, it's gonna be a fairly long day. That said, the distance we're doing today on the Audax is only 100k. So not strictly true Audax length. And that's because we're only doing the last part of a three day event covering 300 kilometers. So the guys that we're meeting up with today have done all three days. And by the end of today, we'll have completed 300 kilometers. So I don't think we can call ourselves super randonneurs just yet, but it'll be a nice foray into the world of Audax. So today is supposed to be quite warm at 20 degrees. So hopefully that doesn't put too much of a toll on the ride. But unfortunately, just as we're on our way there, it starts to rain. I think it should only be a short shower though. And given that it's so warm, I'm hoping that I'll dry off pretty quick. Jimmy and Chris have definitely left me standing on these hills though. Oh man, I'm definitely more of a downhill specialist. Much more of a Pidcock than a Pogacha. Yes, I just compared myself to Tom Pidcock. What are you can do about it? Oh my God, there's so many hills and it's definitely what you would call muggy today. Moist, moist is the word. Some incredible views this morning though. Absolutely stunning. Oh great, another hill. Right, well, we're off the start of today's 100 kilometer leg of this three day ride. We have our brevet card. We've got our instructions. Although when I say instructions, it feels like you need a degree in code breaking before you can actually understand them. What? Hopefully we'll make our way through them quite easily though. But we're literally two minutes out and the heavens have just opened up and none of us have brought a rain jacket. So this should be fun. Right, next is Leicester T Junction, Grass Triangle, signposted Hinksworth. So having never done an Audax before, and knowing full well that cycling has a lot of rules, I decided to look up Audax last night to see what it was all about, and see what we're getting ourselves into. So there are a number of different classifications of Audax, and what we're doing today is a Brevet Populaire. Soaked. Muggy. Very muggy. Listen to the moaning of Jimmy the Layer's summer. He does like a layer, old Jimmy. <laughs> so the interwebs tell me that a Brevet Populaire is a shorter Audax that may take the same route as a slightly longer Audax taking place at the same time. But it's more of a, an introduction into long distance riding, which to be fair, is probably what we need. To be honest though, Tom, the organizer, his main priority seems to be, don't forget to stop for lunch and uh, uh, elevensies as well, which I'm all in favour of. So Tom, the organiser, states over the last couple of days, they've been having some lovely, long, leisurely, hour-long lunches along the route. I like the sound of that. Today's phrase of the day appears to be, oh great, another climb. So we've reached our first stop and on the Brevet card there are a number of questions to prove that you've been to the control points. And the first one at 7k is what is the name of the first pub? And it is not there. It is the Rose and Crown. So we have completed our first control. 
rows and crown. Exclamation mark. The next one is the pub in Ashton, isn't it? That's another 20k. Yeah, this is the new oh, me with the glasses, you see. So Chris has got a new pair of sunglasses which have photochromatic lenses. Sorry, they're photodramatic lenses. Yeah, they're very nice. Which turn darker as it gets lighter, so as the sun starts to shine, the lenses turn dark. But Chris is a bit worried because it seems that in any amount of light, they go quite dark, and he's worried that he looks like what? Worried do you look like what? Bearing in mind this is a family show. <laughs> anyway. A doorknob. He looks like a bell piece. <laughs> with his dark sunglasses on in not much light. They do work quite well apparently, so we're not going to say too much. We love the glasses. So we've now got 20k until our next control point. or oh, 47k to Much Adam which might be where we stop for lunch. Oh boy, this is time three of eight today. So we've got another five of these to go. Oh great, another hill. Well, the rain has disappeared, thankfully, and the sun has started to poke its head out from the clouds and it started to get very warm. Now I know I talk about the weather a lot on these videos and I've said it before, but it sort of dominates your life as a British cyclist. So I'm gonna continue. But it is very warm today. Garmin saying it's currently 21.6 degrees. So I took the cap off a little way back because it was getting very, very warm up top. But we've suddenly come into, oh, are we in, still in Hertfordshire? So we're now right out in the part of the countryside in Hertfordshire. Absolutely stunning. And I keep saying this, I said this on the Dunnish video last week, but there's lots of the English countryside that looks very much like the French countryside. Riding along the Avenue Vert with the wheat waving either side of you. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So that group just flying by, who were obviously out on their normal Sunday morning ride. It's reminded me of something that the organiser Tom said this morning, is that Ordax is all about just taking it nice and leisurely. Nice slow ride through the countryside and just enjoy it. It's all about the journey, not the destination. I could definitely get used to that. So it says road becomes A507. We've not got to that yet, have we? No. Right on left hand bend, is this it? I'm looking at this now and this is saying straight on. Is this the right way, is it? Oh. All right, look, I told you, follow me, will you? <laughs> they won't listen. We'll leave them with you guys. <laughs> so I told you, Chris. It's up here, mate. It's all up here. You know you're properly in the countryside when you see a John Deere dealership. Speed! Well, my train just came off going down that hill. That never helps. Right, I think I'm getting used to these hieroglyphs now. Our next instruction is continue ahead to SO at X, no dollar sign. All right, continue ahead to straight over at crossroads, no signpost. Simple. It does require you to think quite a bit though, which I'm not very good at at the best of times, especially not when I'm trying to operate a bike as well. So we are 43 miles in and two hours, 57 minutes so far. So we're looking good for a six hour finish at 1 p.m. this afternoon, which would be pretty good. And we've stopped off at a little convenience store for some refreshments. <laughs> Jimmy's, I don't know what's happening with Jimmy's glasses. I got a hack out there. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, if they stay there, if it works, it's, if it's crazy and it works, it's not crazy, right? No, hey, no. Oh no, it, work. it stopped working. <laughs> Did I mention it's very warm today? Mm. Definitely need this. Yet more hills. You might. Who chose this route? <coughs> Who was this? How many climbs have we done now? This is six of eight. Oh, six of eight we're on now. That's only nice. two more to go. I did the maths for you just in case you couldn't. And it's only been six times, isn't it? Yeah. There have been a hell of a lot more than six actual climbs though. It takes a lot to be a hill around here, great a hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite an exclusive hill club around here, yeah. A little hillock won't cut the mustard. Has to be a proper manly hill. I have to say, if nothing else, this is just a lovely way to see parts of the country that you've never seen before. Despite the fact that Chris keeps telling me that we've ridden these routes a number of times, I'm a nightmare for remembering where we've been. But in that way, it's actually quite nice because you just keep thinking you're seeing new parts of the countryside, which is great. 
I can tell you where for sure you know. We came down here and turned right after we fixed that kind nurse's puncture. See, he says for sure I'll know it. I'm not convinced. So having said earlier that Audaxes are all about taking it easy, being leisurely, we've actually pumped up the pace today. And that's partly to do with learned behavior, unfortunately. Every other ride we go out on, we're absolutely steaming as fast as we can to try and get a decent workout. But also because we are on a slight time challenge today as well. Because as I've mentioned before, with all three of us being married fathers of young children, there are domestic responsibilities too. So we all need to get back for family engagements this afternoon. However, I reckon on the next Audax we'll take it a bit slower, right? Oh yes. Stops every 10 miles, hour long lunches, breakfast at one, brunch, full lunch, cheese board at the next one, pit stop, pre-dinner, dinner, post-dinner. And then maybe at some point we'll get to the end. In amongst the food, a cycle race might break out. It's saying this is a 17% grade. Right, so we have just left control point three, which was just a village shop. And our proof that we were there is a receipt for goods. Two packets of salt and vinegar crisps, which Chris swears are a great cure for cramp and a chocolate bar, just for a bit of sugar. And now we're back on the move on our way to Whittam in Chelmsford. We've got another 30 miles or so to do. And honestly, this has been an absolutely awesome day so far. Yeah, we had a bit of rain earlier, but it wasn't too bad. But now the sun's come out, stunning. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is all looking very Northern French. What a glorious day. Absolutely gorgeous. Red kite, muntjac, vole, shrew, hare, rabbit, peacock, kestrel. They're all out today. Treadway, Simmons and Salmon as well. They're all out. And flies everywhere, they get in your mouth. <laughs> Right, well, we've taken a quick detour off of the official Audax route for the only permissible reason to change the route, and that is to get some cake. Well, it has to be said that that was a massive piece of cake, but we have done 58 miles so far, so I think we deserved it. I mean, we have had a sausage and egg sandwich, chocolate bars and crisps, and an ice cream today, but you know, we definitely deserve the cake. Definitely deserve the cake. You got what it to make you mine. Ready? Let me be, let, let me be your fantasy. Yeah. Let me tell you, that's no fantasy of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so also while we stopped, Jimmy's been giving out all morning about his droopy saddle. So we fixed that. How's it feeling now, Jimmy? Absolutely wonderful. Millimeters make all the difference. He keeps telling his wife that. So I, I need to point out that was Chris's joke. I can't take credit for that one. So we've tilted his saddle up and now he's happy as Larry. Are, Larry? You, are you Larry? Larry. Hi, oh, Larry. Some kind of car festival going on in Mutching Green. Well, it has really warmed up now. Garmin telling me it's 27 degrees at the moment. Woo. She is a warm mistress. It's actually quite nice when you get into these shaded areas the temperature drops right down. Got to savour this. Although this slow ride has now turned into a bit of a hare and the tortoise race. The other Audax guys who have done the last two days, they've been taking it easy today. So they're the tortoise and we've been the hare. But the problem is with the hare and the tortoise story is the hare decides to stop off quite a few times, which is what we've done. And it's put us back a little bit. So now we're trying to make up a bit of time by pushing on. <sighs> Not good in this heat. Right, we're at 78 of 86 miles. It was supposed to be 85, but then we took a mild diversion for cake. So we've got eight miles left to go, and mercifully, the temperature has dropped somewhat. It's now down to about 22 degrees. Still warm, but not quite as warm as it was earlier. And we were all melting. But I think we're all starting to flag a little bit now, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we are. Right, just coming into Whittam, which is the final info control point and the end of our ride. 
And that is us. We're done. And ready and waiting for us is our lift. Nice one, mate. That was good. Nice one, buddy. 85 miles done in five hours and 48 minutes. Not a bad time. Right, so the bikes are on the roof are ready to go. What have we learned today? Timing Lycra with your pals is good time indeed. Very... Distance is better than speed. Yeah. Well, we are home after a very long and warm 85 miles, but a very, very enjoyable ride. One thing I've learned, which I'll definitely be taking forward in uh, future Ordexes that I take part in, is to really look at the instructions. When the instructions are turn left or right at the next T-junction, that's simple enough, but it's when it's take the second right or second left after a particular feature that you can very easily forget and just keep going straight on and miss the turn completely, which we did a couple of times. But other than that, yeah, really good ride. And I can see us definitely doing some more long distance Audax routes in the future. Jimmy and I are not actually members of Audax UK, but I think we'll be signing up very soon uh, to get some more longer rides in because it was great fun. And hopefully next time, uh, when we're not on a time restraint, we can take it a bit more leisurely pace. At the end, we were flying quite a bit. We were doing 25, 30 mile an hour at points just to try and get back in time. But having done 85 miles today and 130 or so last weekend when we did the Dunwich Dynamo, uh, yeah, that's over 200 miles in a week. So yeah, fairly happy with that. And that definitely brings my weekly tally needed uh, down quite a bit. I've not updated the spreadsheet recently, so I'm not sure exactly how many miles I need uh, per week to reach my goal of 2023 miles this year. But I'll update that and I'll let you know in the next video. I hope it gave you a bit of an insight into how Audaxes work. Again, it was all new to me, having never ridden one before. And if you get a chance to have a go at an Audax, then definitely give it a go. Because certainly I had visions of a proper hardcore crew flying as fast as they could to get to the end. But actually I've learned that there is a minimum and maximum allowable speed limit. So as Tom the organizer said this morning, it's more about the journey than the destination. Uh, and as we passed a few of them on the road, they were taking a nice, leisurely, lovely, slow pace. So yeah, next time we'll definitely be going a bit slower. But yeah, again, thanks very much for watching guys. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Right, well, we're off. Right, well, we're off. Right, well, we're off. Right, we're off. 100 kilometers heading generally west. East. So we're now right out in the, start that again. Right, so we are now 42 miles in, three hours. Oh no, sorry, 40, let's do that again. Right, so we have just left car. We have just left car. Yeah. 